This video will show you how to download and install your Sage Business Division 50 Accounting Payroll Update for January 2012. The first step in obtaining the payroll update is to determine what version of Sage Business Division you're running. We'll start Business Division to find the exact version. We'll log into any company on the list. and we'll simply click under Help and About Sage Business Vision. We'll see here under Help and About that we have 7.50. If we click under System Info, this shows us we have the July 2011 tables. Let's hit OK and let's make note of the 7.50. Let's hit OK and let's exit Business Vision. We're going to now log into the customer portal to obtain the payroll update for July, sorry, January of 2012. The website to go to is https colon forward slash forward slash customers dot sage north America dot com. We'll click on the log on button on the top right hand corner and we will log in with our unique username and password. every customer will have a unique username and password. If there are problems logging on or you have trouble signing on or you need a portal account you can click on where it says sign up for a portal account or you can also click on help logging on. If you do so you get topics ranging from logging on to types of internet browsers that are supported by the Sage customer portal. Um, error messages are also shown and portal features as well. Let's close this for now and I'm going to use a mock account for this demonstration. Since you're logged into the portal, you will now see that there are different products here on the list. Um, you may need to click under the Select Solution and go underneath Accounting to see the Sage Business Vision Accounting Solution. We're going to click on Sage Business Vision Accounting, and we have now our menu uh, that we can use for our Sage Business business vision. We have the YouTube channel, we have more solutions, we have the uh, learn more about the 2011 product and now we also have the Sage Business Vision payroll update. If we click on this link we're directed to a new page and earlier on we saw that we had 7.50. Now the, ja the January 2012 payroll update can be used for the 7.4 series or the 7.5 series. Now if you have 7.40 um, all the way up to 7.44 you have to download and install the January 2012 payroll update for uh, 2010 7.45. If you have the 7.50 or 7.50A you need to download the uh, Sage Business in 2011 uh, payroll tax update 7.51. Since we have 7.50, I will click on this one to download 7.51. I will save this file and I'll save this to my desktop. Now, in a network environment, um, you could download this file to a server that has uh, that can be accessed by all the workstations. Um, when you do that then you don't have to download it multiple times. You just have to download it once to your server and each machine can then access the payroll update file and update it from the server machine. Okay, we'll just wait for this to finish and let's minimize, minimize. We can now see that the Sage Biz Vision 2011 
7.51 is now on our desktop. We can now close the file and we can log off the customer portal. Click on yes. And we'll simply close this web page. Now since the file is now on our desktop, or in your case it may be on your server, you could double click the file and click on run and we'll extract this file to our desktop so we can see it readily or you may extract it to your server. We'll hit extract and this we'll see here that there is a readme file and there is the payroll update 7.51 installer file. It is a good idea to read the readme file before updating your Sage BizVision. So let's let's open that file in Adobe and we are given the instructions here on how to update our payroll tables. It also says here that this update includes the T4 forms. The R01 form will be provided by separate download later in the future. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to install the payroll update on this system here. Let's close this file. In order to begin the payroll update procedure, it is necessary to have everyone log off the Sage BizVision system on all workstations. It is also vital to have a backup of all your data files and the backup be verified, tested, and stored off-site and preferably with more than one copy of the data files for security reasons. After a backup is completed and everyone logged off, you're now ready to install the payroll update for January 2012. In this case here, since I have 7.50, I will install the 7.51 update by clicking on the icon here. It says here that the installation program will install the Business 2011 um, update files, which is the January 2012 update 7.51. I'll click on next and it says it's about to make changes. I will say yes, I'm ready to proceed after making a backup and tested the, the files. It installs the payroll update. I'll hit OK. In most cases, I will restart the computer to, for the changes to, to be in effect. However, in this case, I may say no, just to, just to see whether it's okay. I'll log into Sage BizVision again, and we can check whether the payroll update has been installed. It is also a good idea um, when you install the payroll update that you be logged in as an administrator on the computer just to be sure that you have full rights in order to install the update properly. We'll now go under Help and About Sage BizVision. We'll now see that we have the 7.51 version and if we click on System Info we will see that it is January 2012 payroll tables. The methodology of installing the 7.45 is identical to 7.50, 7.51. The 7.45 payroll update and the 7.51 payroll update contains all the patches and fixes with previous versions. In other words, it is not necessary for you to install all previous payroll updates or fixes before installing this January 2012 update. You could simply install the January 
2012 update to get all previous fixes and patches. The methodology of installing this payroll update will be identical to each workstation in your environment. This concludes the video on installing the January 2012 payroll update. Thank you.